Ever since I was younger, I've been a creative little bean, very different than most kids. While other kids played on the playground, I was off to the side thinking about art class, or when kids were finishing copying their morning message, I was topping off my letters with polka dots and doodling on my paper. I never really took to any specific click or group. I was just a quiet kid in the back that was always fiddling with her pencil, and I liked it that way. Being different hasn't always been in my favor, though. Going into middle school, bullying became a problem, and soon after that, depression. I never wanted to go to school, but I did anyway. I went to Olmsted in my sixth grade year, which was a pretty bad experience, and after sixth grade, I transferred schools and started at Stewart Middle School for seventh and eighth grade. I made two best friends there, and I was put in band class where I started playing the clarinet. Even with both of those events, I still wasn't really happy with my school life. Then high school came, a very scary and exciting time. I picked up art as an elective and started letting my creative juices flow. Even though I didn't make masterpieces and was still learning, I was happier in school than I had been in years, although bullying was still a problem. Throughout ninth grade year, I tried hard to fit in and be like all the other kids so that people would like me. With all that said and done, I still wasn't very well liked. I had a few friends that I talked to and some acquaintances that would occasionally talk to me, but through all that, I never felt like myself. I got tired of being someone I wasn't, and towards the middle of ninth grade, I cared less about what people thought and cared more about my art, myself, and making myself happier. Shortly after, I started dating my current boyfriend, Caesar, and as I'm sure you can see, he likes me for me. He doesn't care what makeup I wear or any of my outside features. Now, if you're thinking, ugh, she's just going to sit here and talk about her boyfriend the whole time. Not exactly. I'm talking about my best friend. He taught me that being myself will attract the right people and friends to hang out with, and he was right. For the rest of freshman year, continuing on to sophomore, junior, and now senior year, I concentrated on my art and realized that making art made me happy and even made other people happy. I made even better pieces than I ever thought I could, and with each time I picked up whatever medium I was working with, came with more and more improvement. Without art, I don't think I could be the person I am today. Everyone has a talent, and mine happens to also be my passion, and that's creating. Around the middle of senior year, I got my first tattoo. It was a great experience, besides the needle constantly going in my leg multiple times per second. I was getting an art piece on my body, and a great one at that. And even though some people around me didn't like the fact that I was getting a tattoo, I love the thought of art being permanently on my skin, especially when I have like the greatest tattoo artist I've ever seen. Later on, I ended up getting a second tattoo on my shoulder, equally as great as the one on my leg, and in a way, I think my tattoos made me an even more unique person than I already was. As a result of that, I got closer to my best friend Morgan, and you can pick him out of any crowd of people in a good way. He's weird, quirky, and just plain goofy, but if he didn't have all those characteristics, he wouldn't be Morgan, and that's why I love him. Again, showing me that being yourself is better than being someone else. If there's anything I learned through experience in high school, it is to be myself and not care about the negative things people may think or say about you. So in the light of that, I'll leave this behind. To all the people who ever bullied me, made fun of me, or made me feel less than I am, thank you for helping me learn this essential lesson of my life. I really do appreciate it. Also, to all the people who are worried about fitting in or worried that people may not like you, let it go, live your life, and be you. Because you were born an original, so why die as a copy?